welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and on this channel we talk about all things related to mature living for the woman over 50. In today's video I'm going to be sharing some things that I picked up last week when I went on a little uh, shopping trip at a local outlet on my way to a prayer retreat. So I have some things that I have not even taken out of the bag yet that I'm going to share with you today. There's some spring finds that I have and uh, just going to share them with you today. Hope you're interested. So last week um, I was headed to Williamsburg, Virginia and before I actually got to the retreat that I was uh, a part of, I went ahead and stopped at the Williamsburg uh, I think historic outlets or whatever. And so I came up with a couple of things. So the first thing I found Okay, maybe not in order of picking up, but let's pick out the bag, right? So I went to Express and I was able to pick up some slacks, right? So what's on trend now is sort of away with the jeans. However, we can wear trousers or slacks, but also can pair them with flats and sneakers if you're a sneaker person. You know, we talked about that last video. So we'll see what we got. Nevertheless, I found two amazing pair of pants. So if I am able to record me in these, I'll, I'll put them somewhere on the screen, okay? But for now, these are a pair of straight ankle high, um, straight ankle high rise trouser pants. So if you can see, they're that cargo style that's really popular again, right? I love this cream color and it's, they, they have a good um, texture, they're not really thin, so they're a, a good texture, almost like a twill kind of feel. And then the bottom is kind of a, um, y'all gotta help this 50 year old brain, okay? <laughs> Gather bottom, kind of like a sweatpant, right? But they fit so good, and I have some great ideas for styling with these. So this is the first one that I got there. This is from Express. And then the second pair are a pair of slacks and they're called ankle super high rise, right? And so they're kind of this brown color, but like a, you know, a light brown, which is great for spring. They have this really, really cute tie here in the front. They look so cute on, right? And there are, they are a straight leg, so they come down. And then for me, they come at the, at the right height because I am, four and a half. I'm not a true petite and I'm not, you know, when I get the standard size, it's regular. So these actually fit uh, just right. So I cannot wait to show you guys how I'm going to style them. Okay. All right. So next on my, <laughs> my goodie bag, what else I found at the outlets was, let's see. Oh yeah, this was at Express too. And Express had a, a great sale that was going on. Um, well, you know, let me just say this, you know, sometimes these sales of buy one, get one free, you know, are not really sales, right? And we all know that, <laughs> okay? It's kind of like the pants were like, buy one, get one free. But let me tell you what the price of the pants were. $88. Now you and I know, not $88 from Express. These are not $88 pants, okay? But nevertheless, if you want to buy one, get one free, they come up 40 something dollars, 30, and they're paying, you know, I don't know, 40-ish. Uh, I, I don't remember, I have to look at my receipt. But nevertheless, <laughs> that's the game. But it's one thing to, to, to have the game and I don't know what the game is being played, but I know this game, right? And I chose to play it, so, you know, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Nevertheless, right? Um, they had shoes as well, buy one, get one free. And so I found these cool slides. Look at these, you guys. Just some really cool slides from Express. And, you know, as I go over my summer um, sandals and things of that nature. I didn't have a flat sandal of this, of this type. And so this is cool. This can go with skirts, shorts, trousers. Um, I'll have palazzo pants that flare out, which I actually love in the summer. Good. And so the three ones I got are free, you know, pair number two, 
same style, but I got them in gold. Right now, I generally wear a lot more silver than I wear gold, but I do have gold. And so I'm gonna bring it out because, uh, you know, several of the outfits that I have uh, require gold accessories or will look better with gold accessories. So I'm gonna begin to pull them out. A lot of times, I'm gonna be honest with you, it is that I don't wanna take my bracelets off <laughs> because these bracelets are Pandora. And one of them has, this is real talk y'all, okay? One of them have all these charms on it, right? And so when you take it off, you have to be very careful because the charms can slide off of this particular one. This other one is like a bangle, right? So, but to put it back on when I wanna wear the silver, it is very challenging to keep the charms on and finagle it into the little clasp. And there's nobody here to help me. This is just me. Like a lot of times my daughter would be here or whatever. It's just me. So if I take these off, it's gonna be several days before i'm not saying i can't do it because i probably can maneuver but y'all know how we get like a lot of stuff we just don't be feel like doing it <laughs> so that's the honest to god truth in terms of wearing the silver but i do have gold and so <laughs> little sidebar um so i got the gold slides as well and i had also picked up a pair of did i show you all those i don't think okay so <laughs> we can just add we just add this on in right but i just got these in last week i ordered them from fashion nova and these are a silver slide however these have a little heel on them right and i got these from fashion nova i don't remember what the price was but it was, they were not expensive at all but they're you know they're pretty basic which i like because they can go with anything they can go with some denim they can go with all the you know summer dresses maxi dresses and you know i prefer like i told you guys i prefer a little heel I prefer it than a flat um, so I have silver I have gold and I have the black and I also have some silver sandals that I had last year um, I think I ordered from Shein and they're totally flat and they're strappy but my toe kept coming out of the strap you know something like that so I needed another one and I went for um, this style so yes we got us some gold, we got us some silver, we got us some black flats, um, along with all the other shoes that I, you know, already have for summer. Okay, next. So I also went into the polo store and they had a sale. And so I got a couple of just basic t-shirts. Um, I've been wanting some stripe to wear with either white or, you know, navy or denim, right, for this, uh, summer so just your basic white it's a classic Ralph Lauren t-shirt right I'm not trying these on yet so hopefully you know they're gonna fit and that's a crew neck t-shirt and then this is pink which is springy right so I could definitely wear this just a regular t-shirt that I can wear um, these are mediums with jeans shorts you know or whatever and so now let's go for the final find at the outlet and so last but definitely not least i picked up a new coach bag i do not know the name of it i guess i can look and double check and i will and i'll post it but i got this from the coach outlet they had a sale 70 percent off or something i don't really remember what i paid i want to say like a little over 100 bucks i think i paid for it and so um, i like this bucket style now here's the key i really prefer my bags to be zipped right and so because what i have found is bags that don't zip y'all know i put a lot of stuff in it i'm not really a cute tiny bag girl right however the depth of this is what sold me on this one i like this color because it's spring summer um the depth of it where a majority of my belongings are going to be here so the fact that it does just snap at the top has a you know a magnetic snap so that sold me. And then also the fact that it has the strap so I can wear it as a cross body bag as well. So this is the bag from Coach. Um, Thea Small Tote. Thea. It is the Thea Small Tote. And um, that's a, can't go up on the arm, but you know, you can carry it this way. Y'all you know I'm short and 
um, as a crossbody as well. So I'm really, really happy for this because I was looking for a spring bag for sure. Got it and got it at a good price. Love that for me. And so those are the things that I generally picked up from, you know, the outlets last week when I went to Williamsburg Outlet. So I had a great, great little time before I went to the retreat. So now as I'm thinking about my spring wardrobe, are you guys all prepared? Do you have your spring and summer things, right? Uh, are you buying new? Do you, are you, you know, don't need anything new in your wardrobe? Because what I try and do is I kind of assess every season and I definitely needed those flats and different needed and wanted, but you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? <laughs> the shoes that I just showed you. Um, now, what I am looking for that I think will sort of complete the spring summer wardrobe are some white jeans, white denim. I had a pair. I'm not sure if I got something on them and end up tossing them because I'm good for that, right? Tossing or giving to Goodwill. Um, but I, I would like another pair of de white denim white denim jeans is what i'm looking for and what was it was one more thing and another a new bathing suit so maybe or two right if i can get them at a good price so those are a couple things that i'm looking for and i think that i'll really be set <laughs> i think i'll really be set for my spring and summer wardrobe i think i think i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure Okay, and then lastly, there are a couple other things that I wanted to give some reviews on that I picked up for the month of March. So the first thing is, second thing, third thing, whatever. <laughs> the next thing is, the next thing is the Milk Hydro Primer that I purchased a couple weeks ago and I've been using it under my makeup. I absolutely love it. It does help with your foundation staying on. I think I, I think I paid $35 for this when I shared this when I purchased it and it is worth the money and it does not require a lot. If you look, I still haven't even, you know, looks like I barely even use this. So if I can get a good, you know, long-term usage out of this, it is definitely worth the $35 and honestly it works. So for me, if it works, if after I've been through several, this is really a good find. So Milk Hydro Primer, and you can only find it at Sephora. Ulta does not carry this product. Or you can go online and order it from sephora.com. And again, that's what it looks like there. So next I told you guys I have been working with an app that's online. Um, I don't know, I came across sort of an ad, I don't know, Instagram or whatever. And it was for a health and wellness app called Better Me. And it asks you all these questions, it gives you a quiz, and then it sort of prescribes, if you will, for you a whole menu plan, a workout plan. Um, it helps you track your calories, it gives you insight, it even has things for you to read each day to sort of help with your mindset. It is a really, really good app. Now, with that being said, I have not been diligent. I started out really good with logging all of my food and I'm really going to give it one more really hard, well, let me just say, I started out with the, um, you know, logging my food and doing the workouts, that's not a problem. Um, sometimes I do forget, like in logging my meals and tracking the calories, so I haven't been really good with that. And I can be better because it does send you reminders but sometimes I ignore the reminders, right? Because I get so many notifications per day. Uh, what else does it have? It has the option for you to talk to someone through chat, right? Now it is a paid app. This The first month was $15. I think I got some kind of deal. And if I continue to go on, I'll have to double check. It may be, it might be 20 some odd bucks. It's all inclusive. The workouts are great. It has additional workouts. Um, what else? You log in your steps. Let me, where's my phone? One second, guys. All right, so let me give you some specifics. I'm not good with off the top of my head. Hang on a second. It is definitely an all-inclusive app. And it's called, again, Better Me. So here's an example. So for today, right, it has a plan for today. Can you see that? Right? And it says time to burn 
because I'm working on my abs, all right? <laughs> Time to burn belly fat, strengthen core muscles. And so it goes to the next page and you know it gives you some insight and then it has a workout that you can do. In the next part, wait a minute, where was it? Okay, in the next part of the plan, it says solving the calorie mystery. So it has a couple of like a four minute read, a three minute read, and another four minute read for you to get information. So the type of the, fir the, the title of the first four minute read is burgers, candy, and soda. The weight loss policy, the weight loss police says it's okay. And then so basically it's like calories in food and drink give our bodies energy to maintain. It gives you a little idea about what cal calories and how your caloric intake affects your weight loss journey. Now I want to be clear. I, my goal personally has been to lose five to eight pounds, nothing major. And that's just going to give me a little like wiggle room. You know what I mean? Like I just feel like a little wiggle, a little, little wiggle room. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not on some major weight loss journey. I do have areas that I want to tone up. And of course, I just want to elevate my whole eating habits, right? I'm a vegetarian. Yes, but I can still do better. Um, the second read that it has is for today is calories are weird. And the third one is the secret to staying full. So it gives you some things that you can read to sort of have information. So there's an educational component to this app as well. The third thing is log your calories. And let me just show you what that looks like. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it also has a lot of pre-registered, if you will, um, foods. So if I like, I remember like last week I went to Panera and got a half Greek salad. Well, it's in here. I can log that in and it'll put in the caloric intake and fat intake. And what it does is it keeps track of your carbs, fat, and protein intake for the day based on what you're trying to achieve. Does that make sense? And so you get to put in your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and your snacks, and it logs it all. Um, then the next one is the next plan for today is be active. So if you're gonna walk however many steps, you can log that in. If you're doing some other type of extracurricular or cardio activity, you can log that as well. As well. It also has where you can track your water intake and it reminds you of what your goal for water intake should be or that you have already planned out during the questionnaire. And I'd like to remind everyone a quick way to remember what your daily water intake should be is take your weight, divide it in half, and that's how many ounces per day you should be drinking in water. And think about it, an average bottle of water is 16 ounces. Okay, just throw that out there. So you track your water and then also um, reach your step goal, which my uh, step goal per day is 8,000 steps. So this, I said all that to say, and there's so much more, but this is really an all-inclusive um, app application to help you with any health, wellness, or weight loss goals. I will definitely say that it is all-inclusive. Um, for me, I'm just going to determine, and it also has additional workouts. Look at this where you can click on there and do specific workouts, whatever you want. So there is a lot of information. Now for me, I'm gonna make a decision in the next week or so. I love this app because the nerd part of me loves all that it contains, okay? <laughs> like I love all the dibs and dabs. That's kind of how I got drawn in. However, I have to determine if it really is practical for me and if it is helping me. In some ways it is, in some ways it isn't. And I thought what was interesting when I talked to my um, accountability partner um, the other day and I was sharing some information with her and telling her that you know, I, I wasn't really logging all of the information in and that kind of stuff. And, and she made the comment and she didn't even realize what she was saying. She said, it sounds like it's not that user friendly. And I was like, well, it is user friendly, but, and then as I was driving, I was like, maybe it's not as user friendly as I need it to be because user friendly means it works for me. And there may just be too much information that I don't personally need or, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to, this is going to be my last week here, which will be the first week of April, where I um, will determine if I'm going to continue on with this for another month or not. So anyway, shout out to Better Me 
Better.com, bettermecom there's, there's an app. Check it out, you know, take the test. And there's like a little quiz and, you know, just see what comes up. You do not have to necessarily purchase um, the plan if you, do, if you don't want to, but um, I just wanted to share it. I think it's a pretty neat tool. And if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't mean that it can't necessarily work for you. It has a lot of components and sometimes, you know, we need that insight or those reminders. And if you're not interested in, you know, getting a personal trainer, or if you are challenged with self-motivation, which I'm really not, um, you know, this may be good for you. And here's the other thing too, like I'm, y'all getting to know me, like I do my thing when I want to do my thing. And when I don't want to do my thing, I'm not going to do my thing, right? <laughs> because I'm not pressed, right? I don't know if that makes sense or not, but you know, I'm going to walk, I'm going to walk, I'm going to work out and, and you know, I'm going to fit it in. And then you guys know I have such a weird schedule too. That's what I think is the challenge because, you know, when it's telling me to log breakfast, I'm asleep. I worked last night. I may not eat until later. You know what I mean? So mm, I'll figure it out. But I did want to share that with you. And once again, betterme.com. Okay, so the next thing I purchased in March that was a win for me uh, is a smartwatch I ordered from Amazon. Now, you know what? Y'all going to... I don't know the name of it, I will link it below, okay? But it's an Amazon bestseller. It's not an Apple Watch. I'm not paying 300 bucks for an Apple Watch. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, you know, I was looking for something that's just gonna kinda help me as a reminder of my steps. You know, I can peek at my heart rate. You know, I can peek at some other these little things. I can still get my calls on here. Just a couple little features. I know I paid under 40 bucks. I don't even know if I paid 30 bucks for it, to be honest with you. Um, but for me, it has been very helpful. So let me go through what it has on here. It has the time, it has your steps. It talks about calories, um, but I'm not entering anything like that for this. The other aspect that really made me want this product, if you will, is my sleep. Because you guys know I have an awkward sleep pattern. And so this is gonna help me monitor how much sleep between this. Of course, it's hooked up to an app on your phone. And so I can get an overview and I can go back and look at what my hours are looking like with my rest. Y'all know that's a huge concern of mine. And I personally do not want to take sleep aids, okay? I mean, if that's something I have to do in the future, then maybe night shift is not for me. Uh, I, I really don't want to do that. So I do want to monitor and keep track of my sleep and how I'm feeling and all that good stuff. So this smartwatch, I'll put a link in the comment section below, but this was a, this is a great tool. I used to have a Fitbit years ago and then it eventually broke and I didn't replace it. Uh, I don't wear watches generally. I'm not a watch wearer, but, um, I do like having the, it's the nerd part of me too, the ability, <laughs> the ability to, you know, just check these few things, um, about my well-being since that is a big part of my you know my goals and things for this entire year just really upgrading my health really upgrading my wellness and uh my mindset around health and wellness for this season of my life and so and lastly i made this purchase from amazon this huge water bottle because is this a bottle this is like a mug gug gallon right <laughs> now let me say this i generally drink water and coffee okay so i do drink a lot of water but i felt that this would this is going to help me be intentional right because sometimes what happens when i'm drinking bottles of water i don't remember how many bottles i drink right unless i literally number the bottles so i generally keep water a case of water in my trunk and I'm pulling water bottles out. So I want to be very intentional to make sure that I'm getting the amount of water that I need. And so the maximum on this one is a 74 ounce. And so my goal every day is to drink one of these. I just pour the water bottles in the morning and lug this baby in the car and I lug it to work and sip on it those 16 hours when I'm working and all the things. So I will link this in the, in the bottom as well, in the, you know, below comment section. Um, not comment section, comment section, what is it called? I will link that below. <laughs> I will link it, a person from Amazon, maybe 20 something bucks, I think. Um, but definitely I, I really like it. I just really like it. I just like it all being in one place and I can look at it and sip on it. And let me just show you the features of it too. Pops open, look, gadget girl. 
and pops up, right? You can either pour it out if you want to pour it out, pour out, or, and then this little thing is removable so you can wash it, okay? Frequently, y'all know I'm a little germaphobe, so you already know I'm gonna wash it, so I just put my hands on it. And, um, you know, there's a straw, you can see the straw inside. You can take it and clean it, and it comes with an actual cleaner for the straw area, and also to clean outside of the jug. So yeah, so those are my March favorite finds from the outlet, from ordering, and just checking some things out as we are in the spring season. I'm so excited. Today is, um, it's Saturday and it is 70, I think it says 74 degrees. So I'm gonna be heading out today um, and getting a little sun and running some errands and things. But I just wanted to come on and share my March finds with you. So there you have it. We're winding down in March and hopefully something that I share with you, you know, maybe it has inspired you or, you know, encouraged you or even, you know, to think about something different in terms of even the, you know, clothing and things that I showed you. Hopefully I'll be able to link some pictures of some outfits with the things that I showed you on today. And uh, until next time, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and watching for the first time. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button so you can get all future notifications of my videos. And share it out. Share it out to a friend. Have a wonderful and blessed day. I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah!